National Socialist Council of Nagaland IM takes a dick on the government of India, blaming it as responsible for delay in the solution of the Naga political issue. And I see IM accuses Union government of playing divide tactics by the Nagas by signing two separate agreements. Supreme Court issues notice to the Ministry of Home Affairs, Ministry of Law and Justice and Chief Election Commissioner on a plea seeking direction to conduct delimitation exercise in four northeastern states, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Manipur and Nagaland. In the wake rise in COVID and monkeypox cases and ongoing in negotiation with government, Nagaland In Service Doctors Association decides to keep its agitation in abeyance till further notice. NIDA, however, stands firm on their demands over the superannuation age issue. Several Congress leaders, including Rahul Gandhi, detained for protesting against Enforcement Directorate summons issued by the party president Sonia Gandhi in the National Herald case. Meanwhile, Sonia Gandhi appears before ED for the second round of questioning in the money laundering case on Tuesday. A day after four Congress MPs suspended from Lok Sabha for disrupting proceedings and unruly behaviour, 19 opposition MPs face suspension for a misconduct in the House on Tuesday. TMC leader Sushmita Dev, Asan Shantanu Sen and Dola Sen among key faces suspended from the Upper House for the remaining week. Hello and welcome to NLTV's English Primetime News. I'm your anchor, Johanna Muri, and now we'll have a look at the news in details. In what continues to be a long and broiled issue for the Naga community, with a far-flung critic and opinions over the decadal old, impending on Naga peace talks, Nationalist Socialist Council of Nagaland, IM, through a press release on Monday, took on a dig at the government of India, blaming it as responsible for a continued delay in dissolution of the Naga political issue. Clarifying on the delay for a solution on the Nag Indo Naga peace talks, NSC and IM expressed discontentment on false perceived cause of delay to the very issue that capsuled the fight and demand for a separate state of its own, accorded rights. NSC and IM added that Rashtriya Swama's vague Sangha became a jolly became a jolting factor which questioned creation of separate flag and constitution when the two demands were integral part of the framework agreement signed between the central government and NSC and IM, claiming that neither former Indian government interlocutor of Naga Peace Talks, Saran Ravi, nor the current interlocutor, A.K. Mishra, have denied on a demand for a flag and a constitution. According to the release, India, with its arrayed approach, have become a dividing key player amongst the land. As per the statement released, two different aspects have been stated. One, that of the agreed position and the other of the framework agreement and questioned the Indian government for making two different issues of the same context. It went on to maintain that the government of India should make it clear as to which of the agreement would be used for the final agreement. <laughs> On Monday, Supreme Court issued notice to the Ministry of Home Affairs, Ministry of Land and Justice, Law and Justice and Chief Election Commissioner and a plea seeking direction to conduct the limitation exercise in four northeastern states, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Manipur and Nagaland. This notice was issued as per Representation of People's Act 1950. Meanwhile, the plea was filed by the Delimitation Demand Committee. Furthermore, the plea has also sought direction to the constitute a Delimitation Commission in the terms of providing under the Delimitation Act 2002 and Section 8A of the Representation of the People's Act 1956. In addition, the petition contained that the delimitation exercise has been carried out for the past 51 years in the states. Notably, delimitation is a process of demarcation of the boundaries of parliamentary or assembly constituencies. This process is carried out every few years to ensure that each constituency has approximately an equal number of voters to ensure that a set of voters have one representative in the Lok Sabha as well as in the state assembly across the country.
With the rise in COVID and monkeypox cases and ongoing negotiation with the government, Nagaland in Service Doctors Association decided to keep the agitation in abeyance till further notice. Notably, Core Committee on Superannuation took the decision keeping in mind public health interest. However, the association firmly stated that the demand for 62 years of all with no other criteria would continue. Meanwhile, NIDA appealed to the state cabinet to review its earlier decision on the superannuation age issue to avoid further confrontations. The Southern Angami Youth Organization on Monday initiated road repair works over growing concern of poor road condition. Heavy downpour of monsoon rain has led to constraints of daily activities on National Highway Route to Pesama to Kuzama Village of Kohima District. The 26-kilometer long road repair task began on Monday from Pesama Village with the local youth assisting in filing the in filling the potholes with the help of machineries contributed by the executive members of SAYO. Clearance of drainages and mudslides were further carried out during the repair. National Highway connects many other villages and districts while serving as a main gateway to Manipur State. As per the statement received, SAYO had issued an ultimatum to National Highway and Infrastructure Development Corporation Limited in February 2022 on the long due negligence towards the highway route. The last public repairment of roads were undertaken in November 2021, but the preceding areas came to a halt after Hornbill Festival commenced with no work in sight till date. Efforts have also been made by Kohima Bench, which filed the Suomoto public interest legislation against the parties, including NHID self, for a delay in compliance. Completion, completion of work road projects. As part of Azadi Ki Amrit Mahotsav, a walkathon come eat right mela was held at St. Peter High School in Kohima on Tuesday. Furthermore, the Food Safety Authority in collaboration with Center for Health Services and Innovation held a demonstration of the fortified food products of the students and the colony members. Speaking on the event, Minister for Health and Family Welfare S. Pangipom appealed to all the concerned department and the Food Safety Authority to cross every essential that is coming into the state and the production which are made in the state for consumption of the people living in the state. In addition, the minister urged all to pledge to eat safe, eat healthy and eat sustainable and continue awareness program in the grassroots level which will serve the purpose of the department and the authority concerned by guiding into its citizens to choose the best and healthy food for longer and healthy life. Program. I would also like to appeal the authority to cross check every essentials that is coming into our state and the production which are made in our state for a consumption. The alternative food items and other products must be properly checked by the authority for everyone's welfare. Action against uh, defaulters may strict and penalty be imposed as per the law so that we don't have any health complications as we live on. I foresee such events and awareness programs at the grassroots levels will serve the powers of the department and the authority concerned by getting guiding its citizens to choose the best and healthy world for longer and healthy life. I may be Taiwan Nishana, Hani to Bishi Kaita Kiruna, it took a neki or original kid to be Kata Se Najanina, 
Bole bi aji to dikhe to bi shi ba. Aru chawe bi ami kanto men to chawe la se do na. Chawe bi original dobrike to aji to jani she. Itu kane bi shi tens. Aru tae kwa ni shinda. So dobrike original anda kambi ami kanto ho tae kai do na. Itu kambi ki original to ki dobrike ta. With Nagaland state elections around the corner, Chief Minister Nipirio met with Union Home Minister Amit Shah and Assam Chief Minister Hamanto Biswa Sharma in Delhi and discussed about several issues including party alliance and Naga political issues. After the meeting, was, after the meeting Rio was also asked about the comment Home Minister Amit Shah gave regarding bound border issues with the northeastern states. On recent comments made by Home Minister wherein he said that these border issues would be resolved by the end of the year, however, answer, answering about the same, Rio opined that though talks are in progress, the pertaining issue will likely be sorted only after the upcoming Nagaland Assembly elections, which is scheduled for the early months of the next year. Rio also asserted that talks regarding border, border issues are running smoothly. Democratic Alliance convener. So we discuss about party and the Alliance government and uh, the Naga issues also is there. So we discuss all these issues. No, that uh, we have been uh, discussing uh, for a long time and, and we are facing election uh, say next year, early part, February. So maybe all these decisions will come after the election. But we have full understanding and things are going smoothly. Thank you. Under Kifiri Sada block on Monday, a new sub-center at Tuteze village in Kifiri district was inaugurated by district program officer Dr. K. P. Pewezo Kalo. The guest of honor Dr. K. Pewezo Kalo assured that the medical department would look into the requ requirements of the health and center health center and provide facilities for smooth functioning of the unit. During the program, Pewezo spoke about the importance of health center in the village and urged upon the village leaders and public to utilize the facilities to the best. He also asked the villagers to take full ownership of the health unit and to look after the center and as a private property. Meanwhile, the DPO also stressed on the importance of the community participation during health programs and activities carried out by the department. The Northeast Pact LPT Transporter Association Independent Strike, which commenced on 25th July, entered its second day on Tuesday. Notably, the association has called for an indefinite non cooperation with as many as seven LPG bottling plants remaining shut from Monday. The bottling plant included North Gohati, Sarpara, Gopanari, Bo Dimapur, Siltar, and and relation to this, an office bearers of the association informed that despite several tripartite meetings being held over the past four years, the association's demands have not been fulfilled, which in turn compa compelled to the association to stage an indefinite strike from July 5th, 25th to and it is to be mentioned that the association, through a letter to the Assam Food and Civil Supply Minister, Ranjit Kumar Das informed the state government about the strike which has been called over the non-fulfillment of long-pending demands of the association. Notably, the association also wrote letters to the Bulk Transporter Association and LPG distributors of the region seeking cooperation and support in favour of the call of an indefinite non-cooperation amid the price rise of essentials. Consumers now may have to face shortage of LPG cylinders in the wake of the transporter strike with sources adding to the fact that over 1.5 consumers will be affected each day if the strike goes on for a longer period and LPG stocks dry up across the retail outlets.
Nimapur Municipal Council Administrator Albert Izung conveyed a meeting for intensive revision of the electoral role of Municipal Council on July 27th at the Deputy Commissioner's Conference Hall, Dimapur, upon which BJP Congress, National Congress Party, National People's Party, Naga People's Front, Nationalist Democratic Progressive Party, Janata Dal United and the Rising People's Party have been requested to attend the meeting. The Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2022 will be held from August 22 to 27. All the 16 districts of Nagaland will participate in the state's biggest ever sporting event. Furthermore, the disciplines in which the competitors will be held include archery, athletic, badminton, boxing, football, taekwondo, table tennis, wushu, tennis and shooting sports. Meanwhile, Baron District Athletic Association will be organizing selection trials from Nagaland Olympic 2022 on August 5th and 6 at St. Xavier College, Jaluke. Congress Rahul Gandhi was detained by the Delhi police on Tuesday for leading a sit-in protest at Rajput. Rahul Gandhi and other Congress MPs were protesting against a morning of Sonia Gandhi by Enforcement Directorate of a National Herland case, National Herald case. Meanwhile, Sonia Gandhi arrived at the ED office after lunch break after the, governor, after the government agency grilled her to three hours in the pre-lunch session. Earlier, she arrived at the ED's office for her second round of investigation in connection with the National Herald case after the Enforcement Directorate on July 22 issued fresh summons to Congress President. Initially, she was summoned by the probe agency on Monday, but it was deferred by a day. Rahul and scores of the Congress MP also protested against targeting of the opposition leaders by probe agencies, price hike and imposition of GST on essential goods. After a standoff of almost half an hour, police lifted Rahul and other MPs into a bus and freed them away. Rahul reacted strongly by commenting that India is a police state and PM is the king. Congress leader Malik Arjun Kharge also commented that PM Modi and Amit Shah are trying to destroy opposition parties and silence their voices. Kharge asserted that as they will not be afraid or going back down, but they will continue to fight. और ये हमें यहां बैठने नहीं दे रहे हां अंदर बात नहीं करी जा रही है डिस्कशन नहीं अलाउड है और यहां पे हमसे अरेस्ट कर रहे हैं आप जिस तरह से मैन हैंडलिंग की गई और राष्ट्रपति से नहीं मिल सकते संसद में आपकी बात नहीं कह सकते जो स्थितियां बनी हुई है आप क्या कहेंगे राहुल है हिंदुस्तान की स्थिति है पुलिस को है राहुल को है वो सच्चाई है अगर मोदी जी मोदी जी राजा है at the after four, Congress MPs were suspended from Lok Sabha for disrupting proceedings and unruly behavior. On Tuesday, 19 opposition MPs, including TMC leader Sushmita Dev, Shantanu Sen, and Dola Sen, were suspended from Rajya Sabha for the remaining part of the week for misconduct. Following the incident, Raja Sabha adjourned for the day to meet at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Among the 19 MPs' suspension, 7 MPs are from the Trinamal Congress. Meanwhile, more than 20 MPs would now be barred to attend the monsoon session of Parliament amid protests by opposition against the government over inflation. I am sad that the GST is so much जो साधारण इंसान अपने घर में जिसकी जरूरत होती है उस पे आपने जीएसटी लगाया है इस पे चर्चा करने की वजह आपने हमें सस्पेंड कर दिया क्योंकि हमने चर्चा की मांग की इससे साफ इससे साफ जाहिर है कि मोदी सरकार महंगाई पर जवाब नहीं देना चाह रही या उनके पास जवाब नहीं है अगर फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर बीमार है कोई बात नहीं कोई और मंत्री या प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स ऑफिस के इंचार्ज जो मिनिस्टर या प्राइम मिनिस्टर खुद जवाब दे ऐसा थोड़ी है कि चित पी मेरी और पट पी मेरी हमने चाचा की बांग की तो हम सस्पेंड किया गया 
मुझे लगता है मुझे लगता है ये नाइंसाफी है उन्नीस ऑपोजिशन के सांसदों को इस तरह से सस्पेंड करना क्योंकि वो महंगाई पे चर्चा नहीं कर सकते पर अभी हम डिसीजन लेंगे कि आगे क्या करेंगे क्या स्ट्रेटी रहेगी क्योंकि एक इस वीक तक को एंट्री नहीं मिल पाएगी तो आगे क्या स्ट्रेटी रहेगी देखिए ये सरकार जिस तरह से इस देश को चला रही है मेरा मानना है कि आंदोलन के अलावा हमारे पास कोई रास्ता नहीं है हम सदन के अंदर और सदन के बाहर भी हम आंदोलन करेंगे क्योंकि ये सरकार इतनी आ, मैं मानती हूँ डिक्टेटोरियल है और साथों साथ निकम्मी ये भी है कि इनको हिलाने के लिए एक ही रास्ता है और वो है विरोध और वो है वो है मेरा मानना है On the seventh day of the monsoon session, 19 opposition MPs, including TMC leader Sushmita Dev, Shantanu Sen, and Dola Sen, were summoned from Rajya Sabha on Tuesday for remaining part of the week for misconduct. Furthermore, the question was conducted amid rugbers by joint opposition raising slogans as opposition members protested during the ongoing zero hour. Lok Sabha Chair Rajendra Agarwal adjourned. Proceeding till 2 p.m. While the Rajya Sabha was suspended amid protests from opposition till Wednesday 11 a.m., the proceedings continued at Lok Sabha after 2 p.m. Speaking on the 2,000, 20,000 Indian students who returned from Ukraine after Russia invaded, the former former Minister of Health, State former Minister of State Health and Family Welfare Party Pawar told the Lok Sabha that there were no such provision in Indian Medical Council Act 1956. and national medical commission act 2019 as well to as the regulations to accommodate or transfer medical students from any foreign medical institutes to indian medical colleges meanwhile the lok sabha passed the family courts bill 2022 to overcome the issue of the lack of jurisdiction of family courts in the state of himachal pradesh and nagaland TMC MLA Manik Bhattacharya has been summoned by enforcement department after the arrest of the West Bengal minister and former education minister of the state Partha Chatterjee and his close aide Arpita Mukherjee. Furthermore, he has been asked to join the ED Kolkata office on Wednesday. Earlier in the month of June, the Calcutta High Court had ordered the immediate removal of the Trinamool Congress MLA Manik Bhattacharya from the post of chairman of the board of the primary, primary education on grounds of submitting false documents and irregular irregularities in a recruitment corruption case Supreme Court on Tuesday asked the central government to take a stand on the control on the controlling on controlling the announcement of freebies by political parties during election campaigns the court took notice of the petition made by senior advocate kapil sibal where the bench of chief justice of india and viramana justice krishna murari and hima kohli issued the direction after considering the suggestions put by sibal that finance commission should allocate the funds to the state as a result of debts of the state and the quantum of the freebies granted Ad- Advocate Amit Sharma appealing for the F E C I mentioned on the affidavit filed on April 10, 2022, that offering any freebies either before or after the election is a policy design of the party, and that the commission cannot regulate state policies and decision which may be taken by the winning party when they form the government. As much as total debt of 6.5 lakh crore has been generated respectively as part of the political freebies till date of the petition on January 25 2022 the bench headed by chief justice of india and viramana sought response from the eci and central government urging the court to declare promise of irrational freebies from public funds before election unduly influence voters disrupt fair fair election process promise distribution of private private good services which not for the public pro- purpose from public funds before election violate article 14 162 and 282 of the constitution of irrational freebies from the public fund before election to lure voters is an analog to bribery and uh, under influence of the of the 17 1b and s 171c of ipc
The Supreme Court on Monday took note of the arbitrary arbitration proceedings initiated by the Delhi Court against real estate company Amrapali Group on former cricketer Mahindra Singh Dhoni's plea. However, the group, Supreme Court has not put any stay on the proceeding initiated by the Delhi High Court but questioned how the High Court can initiate any proceedings when the top court is already examining this matter. Furthermore, the counsel of the Amrapali Group apprised the top court about the Attribution, attribution proceedings initiated by Delhi High Court on Dhoni's plea. It is to be mentioned that in April 2019, Dhoni had moved the Apex Court seeking protection of ownership rights of an over 5,500 square feet penthouse he booked 10 years ago in a project of Amar Pali Group. Opposition vice presidential candidate Margaret Alva took a jibe at the center and alleged that center is spying and monitoring phone calls of political leaders. Alva remarked that leaders of political parties are always under constant fear by being monitored by the center. Alva further commented that the MPs and leaders of political parties use multiple phones frequently, change numbers and even converse in whispers when they meet due to fear of being monitored. She went on to comment that fear has killed democracy in India. Earlier, Alva also took to Twitter to tag government-owned telecom companies, BSNL and MT and a lower alleged service distortion. Alva tweeted that she, after she spoke to some friends in the BJP, she cannot make calls or receive calls. She alleged that her calls has been diverted. Alva even promised the companies that henceforth she will not call friends belonging to BJP, TMC or BJD parties. The Enforcement Directorate has filed a charge sheet against former Jammu and Kashmir CM and National Conference President Farooq Abdullah over the alleged chiffoning of a Jammu and Kashmir Cricket Association funds. A special PMLA court in Srinagar has asked Abdullah to appear before it before August 27 in connection with the same. Available and immovable assets, movable and immovable assets of the tune of rupees 21.55 crore belonging to Abdullah and others have been attached with the charge sheet. Farooq Abdullah was summoned by the Enforcement Directorate for questioning on May 31 in the same matter. Tamil Nadu recorded third case of suspicious death of schoolgirl on Tuesday. Calling this incident painful, Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin stated that educational institutions must perceive education as service and not as business. Furthermore, he asserted that students should be taught how to deal with any situation and should not have suicidal thoughts and must think about achieving more. On Tuesday, Dr. V.K. Paul, member of Health Niti Ayug, informed the citizen of the country that the government has taken proactive measures such as screening at airports. Meanwhile, 15 laboratories have been set up through the country to monitor the situation. Furthermore, Dr. Paul reassured the public by stating that the situation is under control and no need to panic. At the meantime, he urged people who are showing symptoms of monkeypox to come forward and get themselves treated. Notably, at present, there are four monkeypox cases in India. स्क्रीनिंग सतर्क रहना चाहिए और बहुत जरूरी है कि ठीक जानकारी ठीक जानकारी सबके पास हो और पैनिक नहीं हो सच्चाई की बात हो आ, सरकार ने सिग्निफिकेंट मेजर्स लिए सरकार ने सबसे पहले तो एयरपोर्ट्स पे जो फीवर के केसेस हैं उनको उनकी स्क्रीनिंग हो उनको उनसे बातचीत हो कि डिटेक्शन हो दूसरी बात यह है कि हमारे 15 laboratories का नेटवर्क हमने मिलके बना दिया है तो हमारे नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ वायरोलॉजी पुणे में है वो हमारी रेफरेंस लेबोरेटरी है और 14 और लैब्स हैं जगह-जगह और उसमें पर्याप्त मात्रा में 
In a major breakthrough, the anti-gangster task force of Punjab police have arrested Deepak Mundi, the last absconding killer of framed Punjabi singer and Congress leader Sidhu Musewala near Adari border in Amritsar on Tuesday. With the arrest of Deepak Mundi, the police have arrested all four remaining killers, while Privrat Fuji and Ankit Sirsa were arrested earlier by the special cell of Delhi police. Gagroop Singh, Rupa and Manpreet Singh were killed in a nearly five hours long encounter by Punjab police on Amritsar on Wednesday. It can be noted that Sidhu Musiwala's father, Balakor Singh, loaded the work of the police officers while commenting that it was just the beginning after a long fight lies ahead. Sidhu Musiwala was shot in Punjab's Mansa district on May 29th. According to data presented by Union Minister of State for Environment, Ashwini Kumar Chobi in Lok Sabha on, on Monday, India has lost 329 tigers in the last three years due to poaching, natural and unnatural causes. Minister added that 96 tigers died in 2019, 106 in 2020 and 127 in 2021. Reportedly, 68 tiger deaths were attributed to natural cases, 5 to unnatural cases, 29 to poaching and 30 to seizure. Meanwhile, a total of 197 tiger deaths are under security. However, the data show that number of poaching cases have reduced over the years from 17 in 2019 to 4 in 2021. It also added that as many as 307 elephants have died in period during the poaching, electrocution, poisoning and train accident. Star Indian javelin thrower Niraj Chopra will not be taking part in the Commonwealth Games 2022 in Birmingham due to an injury sustained during the finals of the World Athletic Championship in Oregon. Meanwhile, Chopra has delivered a lot of outstanding performances. He won gold in Tokyo Olympics and silver medal at the World Champion Athletic Championship. <sighs> oh, that is huge. The Olympic champion is one and done. That is all for English Primetime News. Thank you for tuning in and for more updates, keep watching Nagaland TV.